Multiply as the Romans do. The Roman numeral system, you may be familiar with it, uses symbols to represent values, but then unlike our decimal number system, which indicates value with places, that is we have our ones place, our tens place, each digit of which stands for 10 of something, our hundreds place, and so on. In the Roman numeral system, it's more like an additive value system. You write down all your symbols, generally speaking, from greatest to least, but then you just add all the values of those symbols together. For example, something like XX stands for 20, not because the first X means one kind of value and the second X means another kind of value, but because X stands for 10 and there are two X's, 10 plus 10, of course, makes 20. XXXI would stand for 31 in this Roman numeral system. The three X's, that's three tens, plus a one makes 31. Adding and subtracting in the Roman numeral system is not super difficult because generally speaking, you're just writing down all the symbols you see, converting into larger symbols whenever necessary, or taking symbols away. But in some ways, it's actually quite easy to add or subtract in that system. Multiplying in that system, on the other hand, is very difficult. There's nothing like our standard multiplication algorithm in the Roman numeral system, because our standard multiplication algorithm depends on place value to work. The Roman numeral system doesn't have that place value, so the standard algorithm doesn't work at all. But the Romans were nothing if not resourceful, and they did come up with a clever substitute for that algorithm. It works this way. Set up one of your numbers on the left side of the table and your other number on the right side of the table. On the left side of the table, we're just going to cut that value in half over and over again. Now, of course, Odd numbers don't cut in half evenly, but we're not going to worry about that. Anytime we have a remainder, we're just going to ignore it. Half of 20, of course, is 10, so that's going to be a single x. Half of 10 is 5. The symbol for 5 in Roman numerals is v. Half of 5 is 2. We know that there's a remainder of 1, but we're going to ignore that and simply write down 2. And then half of 2 is 1, and that's when we stop. We keep dividing by 2 until we get to 1. On the right side of the table now, we're going to double everything, going all the way down, matching up row for row, whatever we did on the left side. So taking XXXI, we're gonna double that. Fortunately, doubling is relatively easy because we just need to use every symbol twice, making sure to convert to larger symbols whenever we can. So for example, the three X's we see here for 31, we're gonna double up to six X's, which would be 60, but there's a Roman numeral for five of those X's. Five X's is the same as L, the same as 50. And so when we double up, we're gonna get L, X, and then two I's doubling from the single I before. Doing that again, two L's make a C, because two L's, 50 plus 50 is 100, and C is the symbol for 100. That one X becomes two X's, and those two I's become four I's. Doubling up again, we have C, C, X, 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 four X's, and then those four I's turn into eight, but of course eight would be represented by a V, that's five, plus another three. One last time, we have one, two, three, four C's now, eight X's, but that's gonna be an L, and three X's, two V's, but that's the same as one more X, and then six I's, but that's the same as one V and one I. Now here's where the algorithm is especially clever. As we look at that left side of the table, every time the left side of the table is an even number, we actually ignore that row entirely. So the XX row we don't need, the X row we don't need, the II row we don't need. The only ones we keep are the odd rows. The product 20 times 31 is going to be the same thing as the sum of whatever symbols remain. One, two, three, four, five C's is 500, that's a D. An L and five of the X's make another 100, that's a C. And then we have this X for another 10. And then V, I, and four I's makes yet another 10. And so there it is, the product of XX and XXXI is DCXX. In our place value decimal number system, of course, that would be 620. I guess it's truly like they say, when in Rome, multiply as the Romans do.